Hey guys, Jamie Alton here and welcome to Body Power TV. Today we are driving to the supermarket where I'm going to be showing you one of my favourite recipes full of good protein, good carbs and a little bit of fat added in but we can take that out if you don't want it. I'll be showing you all the macronutrients, all the cooking and most importantly the shopping. So that's why we're driving to the supermarket so I can show you the right things to choose from the shelf how much it's going to cost, and obviously how we're going to make it. So, I'll see you soon. Okay, so one of the first uh, ingredients we're going to get, cherry tomatoes, nice and cheap, quid, salted. And next one we need is just a couple of uh, red onions in there. So, boom. And we're looking for peppers now. Peppers. Aha. Okay, so just go for one red pepper. Stick that in there. Where we go. I like to add to this it's a little bit of additional fat so if you want to take that out no problem whatsoever but I like to put a little bit of chorizo in there uh, very very tasty and uh, it's not the cheapest either so what we're gonna go for just the uh, chorizo slices in there Probably one of the most expensive ingredients for our uh, recipe, but also one of the tastiest is uh, these beluga lentils. Really, really nice, really good carb source, and uh, quite high in protein. And they do taste darn good in the recipe. Okay, last ingredient before we go to the butchers is some of this. Uh, Napolina Passata is pretty cheap, 95p a pack, and I think the entire per 100 grams, so yeah, it's about 80 90 calories per carton, so pretty good. I get the Passata with, uh, with peppers and chili, a couple of quid, job done. So that is all our ingredients now for our recipe. The only thing we need to do now is pop over to the butchers and get some good, high quality sausages. So, look at that, £9.19, so uh, pretty good there, £9.19, obviously we haven't bought our sausages yet, but we're aiming to have this recipe for four people, so we're hoping that the sausages come in about four or five pounds, four, four or five pounds, so what, 14, 15 quid, not bad, but four quid each. Okay, just parking up to the butchers now. We'll see what he's got in store for me. So after some sausages, not sure what kind of sausages. It might just be normal pork, beef, venison. We'll see what he's got. Awesome, thank you. Okay, so just been to the butchers. He done us a really good deal. Got six giant sausages, 85% meat in them as well, and free range, and for 2 dollars So that brings the total to about uh, £12.20. So it works out about three quid per serving this meal is going to be. So what are we waiting for? Let's drive back and start cooking. 
Right guys, I know you've probably been umming and ahhing and trying to wonder what the hell I'm actually cooking. Well, it is in fact a sausage casserole. So it's a sh uh, sausage and chorizo casserole. Really, really tasty. And most of all, most important thing, some really good macro numbers for you here. So the entire sausage casserole is 1900 calories, 162 grams of carbs, 122 grams of protein and 80 grams of fat. This can serve four large servings. So per serving, you're looking at 470 calories, 40 grams of carbs, 30 grams of protein and 20 grams of fat. So let's get cracking, shall we? First things first, probably the most important thing is stick the oven on. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stick that to 200 degrees Celsius. And this is a pretty easy recipe. All you have to do really is cut things up, whack it in, stir it, stick it in the oven, 200 degrees for an hour, and away we go. So what we're gonna start off with, we'll cut some of these red onions up. I haven't got the sharpest of knives, but pretty good. And also, I'm not the kind of guy that cries cutting onions, so it doesn't really bother me. Okay, so we'll just get these nice and peeled up. Okay, that's one. Mm -mm -mm -mm. The second one, cut up. Okay, so two red onions. Don't have to be pretty with what you're doing. Just get them peeled. Ooh, slippery. And then we'll get them diced up. At times, I've sliced my fingers open, cutting stuff. Do you know this one time in, uh, in Kenya where I put a knife all the way through my hand, hence why I haven't got any feeling in, <laughs> in one of my left fingers. So I should really be more careful. Okay, nice and easy. Red onions go in there like so. Cut our second one up. Should really go on a one of those cutting courses, that'd be quite good. Get all chefy and never mind. Doesn't really matter when it's all cooked. Okay, so that is our onions cooked. Cooked. That is our onions cut. Sorted. Right, let's move on to one red pepper. Peppers are a little easier. Just get the, uh, oh, <laughs> put the red pepper all over the floor as you do. No, stick it in the bin. Don't have to be very neat when cutting red pepper up <clears throat> okay that's one red pepper into the oven dish let's clear some of this uh, Red pepper up, shall we? Excellent. Okay, let's move on. Don't have to use cherry tomatoes because you have got the uh, tomato passata in there, but I do like to stick a few cherry tomatoes in there. So let's go for about seven or eight cherry tomatoes. What you gotta do with these, just cut them in half and 
chuck them into the pan. Just like so. Okay, job done. So now we're gonna move on to our chorizo. We've got about, about 70 grams there. We're gonna take about 30 grams of that and then uh, stick it in just under half. Save the rest for later. Uh, nice and simple, just gonna give that a good cut through. And then spread that out. Sorted. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, nice and easy, let's find a towel. Move over to our Beluga lentils. This is gonna be our carb source for the casserole. If I can open it up, let's just use a scissors so I don't end up losing the feeling in another one of my fingers. Okay, nice and simple. Whack it in, same as this other one here, stick it in. Okay, so I just need to get a spoon now. Spoon or a mixing fork. And we're just gonna just stir that around, get all the ingredients mixed up looking good okay so now nice simple we're going to grab the passatas cut those open and these are the kind of recipes I really like because it's just a case of just bunging it all in all the ingredients together mixing it up and then sticking it in the oven job done nice and easy can move on to more important things. Okay, so that one's cut open. So two passatas in there. Looking nice there. Excellent. Okay, so we're going to give that oh, I can just a little bit more in there. Give that a bit of a mix up. And then we're going to add our sausages. Okay, so there's no need, because we've got this in for an hour, there's no real need to uh, pre-cook these sausages. You're gonna have plenty of time to cook in the oven. So all you wanna do, get a scissors, and just cut into small lumps. So, Four, five, and six. Awesome. So, all we need to do now get all this mix in. Look at that. Looking good. Looking real good. Okay, so that's gonna have loads of flavor now. I like just to put a few of my own little seasonings that I've got in the uh, fridge. So, flavor-wise, what we've got a little bit of Frank's Red Hot, a bit of uh, Maggie's liquid seasoning. And if I can find it, uh, 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 where? I've got so many herbs and spices in here, I don't know what to do. Um, one of those uh, annoying moments when you're filming and you can't find in the thing what you want to use. 
Never mind, never mind. I was going to use some uh, rock salt, rock salt, some pink salt, but I can't seem to find it. Not to worry. Okay, another one we're going to add. A little bit of very lazy chopped garlic. You can use normal garlic, but obviously I'm very lazy. So, spoonful of a uh, little bit more chopped garlic in there. Little bit of Frank's buffalo. Damn good stuff that. And a bit of Maggie's liquid seasoning. Excellent. So give that another, another nice mix up. You can add some other things to there. If you want to add some fresh chilies, that'd be really, really nice. But I do like the old, uh, the old red hot. Good with some chicken wings. Okay, excellent. So that's looking pretty darn good now. So all we do, whack that into the oven, 200 degrees, and we're going to be leaving that for about an hour. Job done. So now all we've got to do, clean up, wait for an hour, and serve. Well, guys, it's been in for about an hour now. About half an hour in, what I did is I got it out, gave it a bit of a stir, and then whacked it back in. So, let's have a look, shall we? Ooh, looking good. Looks very good. Okay, let's put this on. Look at that bad boy. Ooh, it's looking real good. Okay, let's just grab a, give that a bit of a stir. Look at that. Smells coming off that. Really good. Ho, 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 ho. Nice. Okay, let's give that a bit of a stir up. Mm -mm -mm. Let's whack a bit on this uh, plate here, shall we? Okay, what you can do is you can cook up some more vegetables, like some green broccoli, whatever you fancy. Okay, now for the most important part. Obviously the taste test. Let's get a bit of sausage on there. It's going to be hot. Straight out of the oven, so I'm trying not to burn my mouth. on really good okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to plate up a bit more of this polish off a bit more and enjoy my sausage casserole I hope you really enjoyed that guys if you want to recreate it don't forget post your pictures on my Facebook page and on the Body Power Expo Facebook page and obviously don't forget to tweet as well thanks for watching guys I'll see you soon Yeah.